Moving on now, whether it's sneakers or high heels, all shoes, of course, eventually wear out. And they could uh, do more damage to your feet than just make them look good. Health specialist Beatrice Bleedy explains what I'm trying to say. Here's a shoe here that we're selling for fall of 2011. As a shoe importer and distributor, Karen Friedman knows her footwear. And though she's always wearing the latest season, her favorites have seen better times. I've really, you know, done a lot of damage to it. It's ripping out here. It's best to not wear the same pair of shoes two or three days in a row. If you don't let it dry out, it gets moist and you can get fungus on your skin, athlete's foot, or on your toenails, fungal toenails. And there's more than fungus to worry about. You're more prone to overuse injuries. Heel pain, arch pain, Achilles tendon pain, metatarsal pain. If you're exercising every day in running shoes, replace them every six months. If you work out a couple of times a week, they can probably last you a year. You can see it wearing out of the sole, the outer sole. And it usually happens at the heel. And it's not just high impact shoes. Regular dress shoes also get worn. Look for any breakdown in the counter or heel of the shoe. Then there's the arch. When you squeeze it, you might see wrinkling. Look at the heel. You can see right under here, the heel is starting to wear out a little bit. It's not bad. If it gets worse, it should be replaced. And if you're wondering how many pairs of shoes you should have? I'd say a woman should have at least three to five pairs of different shoes per season. And I'm not including things like flip-flops and running shoes. Beatrice Politi, Global News.